Today's video is about sharing some details on the usage of the TRM minor, based on my personal experience. It can be divided into two main points. First, how to monitor and modify the frequency or voltage of each TH53 card when multiple cards are present in a mining rig. Second, what is the ER value in TRM miners and how to utilize it to optimize efficiency and achieve maximum effectiveness for the mining rig. In the example I'm using, as shown in the image on the right, we have connected four TH53 cards. When we start running the TRM miner, we can see on the left-hand side of the screen the display of FPGA0, FPGA1, FPGA2, FPGA3, the four TH53 cards, and the DNA of each card. How can we identify which card corresponds to FPGA0? We can use the list devices command. When we use this command, it will generate information such as the one in the image on the right. The information displayed in the serial column corresponds to the TH53 card serial number. In the image, I have highlighted in red the area where the serial number sticker is located. From this, we can determine which card corresponds to FPGA0 to 3 as displayed in the TRM minor. The command FPGA clock Q equals X is used to designate the core clock frequencies for each TH53. The clock frequencies used by each device should be provided as a comma-separated list of values in megahertz, where each value in the list corresponds to a TH53. If the list is shorter than the total number of devices, any remaining devices will use the first specified value in the list. For instance, using the argument FPGA clock core equals 700 comma 800 will apply a 700 megahertz clock to FPGA 0 and a 800 megahertz clock to FPGA 1. FPGA 2 and FPGA 3 will be set to the first value in the list, i.e., 700 megahertz in this case. The command FPGA VCC INT equals X is used to set the FPGA voltage on boards that support it. The voltage values should be provided as a comma separated list of values in millivolts, MV, where each value in the list corresponds to a single board. The usage of this command is similar to FPGA clock core equals X. Please note that the voltage should not exceed 850 MV, as going over this limit could cause damage to your TH53. Based on the configuration window on the right side, it is shown that FPGA0 is set to 695 MV, FPGAs 1 to 708 MV, FPGA2 to 695 MV, and FPGA3 to 705 MV. The abbreviation ER refers to error rate. According to TRM recommendation, the value of error rate should be less than 0.5%. When the error rate value is high, it indicates poor work efficiency. One way to reduce error rate is to increase voltage or reduce FPGA core temperature. Therefore, we can adjust the FPGA core clock and VCC INT to control error rate. When you see error rate as zero, it may also indicate that you can moderately increase the core clock or slightly reduce VCC INT. I use error rate to fine-tune TH53, striving to keep it between zero and 0 0.5 in order to optimize my settings in this way. Please note that error rate is a fluctuating number and it may be necessary to use a longer period of time, such as 24 hours, to determine its range. If you enjoyed this video, please help me by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. If there are any issues with the shared content, or if you have any alternative views, please feel free to leave a comment below or email me directly. 